Hey, how you doing? It's uh, Rickery Man Stan out here. Uh, step one at beginning. Trying to reclaim, reclaim my life from being in hibernation. My son Stanley is going to start the new business. I'll be behind him all the way. And we're going to start it with this truck. This is one of my old trucks. 2000. C6500, got the 3126 cat, got the battery charger on it, did you check the oil already, I think we checked it yesterday didn't we, yeah, that's weird. This this camera. I mean, it's like, hey, where are them? Isn't there some numbers on this engine somewhere that tells you the horsepower? Is that the ones on the very top? <laughs> There's the old backup alarm. For some reason, some dumbass put it here up under the hood. But don't worry. The DOT officer pulled us over. Actually got it with the scales and reminded us that that's not a good spot and gave us a ticket for it. A fix-it ticket, some crap. That's one thing you got to look forward to. Going back into businesses. DOT. But, you know, they're there to make everybody safer. That's their whole. The people that you come back, the people that you hear just whining and throwing a fit about it, them the people that they need to be looked at closer. Because they're there. To protect you and yeah, you see, there's another, there's another fine wiring job by F and Greg Layton. You see what's going on there? It's like you don't know, like yeah, no big deal. Well, you look closer and. That, uh, I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but you know, see that right there? That should get you a violation. I mean, I'm not trying to tell on myself, but honestly, I mean, that needs to be dealt with. Well, of course, this truck's not on the roads, but that'll all get dealt with. Anyways, this truck's got a, uh, it's got a new, uh, it's got the new steering shaft. This is new. It's got a brand new, and you can, there's the label on it. It's still got the label right there. I just bought that. And it's got a new steering box. <coughs> and I dealt with the column. And then, oh, and it's got a new, uh, it's got a new drag link. And, uh. I did all that, then I figured out that it was the kingpin in the front end. You hit a bump, and it wanted to go one way, and you'd go the other way. So, anyways, this is a 21-foot Vulcan bed. It's a 15,000-pound bed, so it's got all the extra... It's got all the extra framing in the back. And it's hooked all pretty much good to go. We gotta gotta replace this thing here. It's broke. I don't know if you can see it, but let's see. See, all this has got to be dealt with before it goes through this DOT inspection. And and there's another thing that I don't want to deal with. But this truck's been I don't know through a bunch of different inspections. 
And uh, when I was cleaning them leaf springs the other day, I noticed one was broke. So, uh, and then I noticed one. Is, and what's weird is I noticed that the the same spring at the same place was broke on the other side. So I'm thinking there maybe is a fault or something in that because that seems kind of odd that the same spring would break. But uh, yeah, that's a that's a brand new light bar. It's not brand. It, I mean, brand new ten years ago, but the trucks, the trucks been sitting. That's why it's got all this rust all over it. But we got a transmission back there in that van over there, rebuilt, ready to go. Are you gonna try to start this thing? Let's go. See what this thing will do. This will be your first. This is gonna be Stanley's first wrecker. And uh, we just we're just gonna see what happens. I mean, he he might do it a little bit and decide it's not for him. You never know. All right. Did you turn on the glow plugs? You know, it wasn't really turning over like really cranking. And that thing's, these spotlights are pretty cool. They're like on here for like spotting moose, I guess. And that, that damage right there is somebody's feeble attempt at trying to hide damage from me. Uh, the driver's name was Steve. Yeah. Um, he had a daughter named Desiree. I can't remember his last name. Actually, I remember. I know that his uh, his uh, crappy 82 Chevy, black Chevy pickup type wrecker, bed-mounted boom gadget with the Kazuma lift in the back. That was his truck. It's been in the paper forever. The guy's been trying to sell it for $1,800.